And I'm not even talking about the vaccine, which is taking a sweet time. I just can't help but think that if some of these selfish leaders in some of these countries with some of their followers had acted a little bit differently, then maybe the world wouldn't need to keep stopping and starting like a bad internet connection. The Democrats are politicizing the coronavirus. Caso fosse contaminado pelo vírus, não precisaria me preocupar. I was at a hospital the other night where I think there were, a few, there were actually a few coronavirus uh, patients and I shook hands with everybody. Japan though, despite the rising cases, some precautionary lockdowns which we're currently in, and some gifts from the British, still have relatively few cases. Let's just put that into perspective. Japan has the 11th largest population in the world, yet the cases here are still less than the total cases in Panama, Switzerland and Georgia. Georgia the country, not the state. Yes, that's better. Who even makes that mistake? Anyway, some might put it down to public institutions deliberately not wanting to test to keep the numbers down and also to keep the economy running or to avoid the economic crash. We're not escaping that. But the truth is, Japan is just generally a very clean country. Want to know why? Well, for a start, sanitization bottles are found in almost every building and store. Restaurants will always serve disinfected wipes to customers, but not before the double wipe down. Trains, buses, and other public transport are all sanitized at the end of each working day. People don't kiss or hug to greet here. It's a short bow from a distance. There are no shoes in the house. And Japanese have been wearing masks since, well, since forever. And this was all way before any bats were consumed. In fact, just talking to the average person in Japan, you'll find that most people don't even believe the virus to pose any real threat at all. Yet despite that, more than 80% of people will wear a mask in public. Why is that? Well, it's down to a simple cultural value called omoyari, which translates to thoughtfulness or consideration for others, which basically means instead of worrying about infringement of our rights, being careful not to infringe upon other people's rights. Sure, this might have been instilled from a very young age, but many adults move to this country and are very quick to adopt such behavior. It's not that hard. In fact, it's perfectly okay to change your opinions on anything at any time. Take a look at this idiot here in April 2020. I don't think you need to wear a mask, but uh, I don't think a mask helps. Wear a mask. No, I don't think you. Wear a mask. I don't think you need to wear a mask. You need to wear a mask. It doesn't work. It's it... proven to be ineffective. Proven by who? It, it's proven. There's <laughs> studies out there, right? Okay. Right? Yeah, there's studies out there. <laughs> wear a mask. So, vaccine or no vaccine? Coronavirus or some other weird virus that could come to us this year, who knows? If there's one habit that definitely works in practice, it's omoyari. And I'm sure that's the only thing we really want spreading. Thanks for watching, guys. If you'd like to see more, uh, check out the YouTube channel, like the Facebook page, leave a comment, leave a like, send me a request. Matane and salam alaikum.